Hi guys, welcome back. This feels weird. I have not picked up a camera in so long, but I think it's quite fitting from like my last, well, actually I probably will have an upload before this one goes out, but I'm talking about my drive with me where I gave you my life update and I said how chaotic it has been and then last week it took its toll on me. I said, I think I might have even said in that video like about my immune system <laughs> probably failing me and it did. Last week I was not well at all. I'm still a bit <coughs> chesty, still a bit unwell but I'm feeling a lot better. So last week I physically, one I was working a lot last week, it was a bit crazy and then when I wasn't working I was, I was doing a lot of like the night shift so like although it were like it's not, I don't finish like super late it does make a difference like by the time I get home get a bed and stuff so I was just knackered like when I wasn't working I could not keep my eyes open and obviously I had other stuff to be doing so yeah last week it just didn't go to plan so I'm so sorry that I haven't uploaded in ages but I feel like this week I'm going to try and get better at it. It is a Monday morning, so we are trying to start it as good as possible. But being productive, we're going to try. But this week, it's the last week of filming for TOWIE, so I feel like that's going to free me up a little bit. I know I don't like do it a lot, but obviously it is a couple of hours out of my day. And like, I think I explained this before with TOWIE, like you don't know your time till the night before. So it's always like you're just sort of lingering waiting to find out so yeah it's always a bit up in the air but it's the last week of filming i can't believe how quick it's gone i feel ready for it to be the last week but then i know in like two weeks time i'll be like i'm on board again but hey ho we have a full week of work as well like pub and sunbed like i've explained so i thought you know what i've not vlogged in the longest time just like a chilled week with me but this will be a really realistic one of me at the moment trying to fit everything in working all like that and obviously it's the last week of filming hopefully i'll get up to a few fun things my week's quite nice because i'm not doing the nights all week so tonight i'm in the pub which is standard for like a monday night i normally do monday nights in the pub but like tomorrow it was the sunbed that was also being the night shift so then i was literally like last week every evening I was working and it was a lot but Tuesday and Wednesday I'm in some bed but in the day which is nice Thursday is the finale day so we've got a big day I might even have to go off to where the finale is at to get them ready I've got to do Ella as well as Saffron so that's a busy day and then I'm in the pub in the evening then Friday we've got a wedding like bridal makeup Saturday I've got makeup and pub and Sunday I've got a chill day. I'm gonna try and get this up on Sunday though, so I don't know how far I'm gonna vlog this week, but we're just gonna see what we get. I'm gonna try and do another video as well, which is like up before then. I don't know if it's normally Tuesday's my upload. I don't know if I'm gonna get out for Tuesday just because obviously I'm working tomorrow day. I also, this morning, I hadn't had a lay in because what was, what was stressing last week was I was working the nights and then Saffron kept getting like early morning call times. So I was still having to get up at like half seven. So it was really taking its toll. Obviously I wasn't well as well. So I was just like, oh my God, I just need a lay in. But I didn't get one. So today I actually got out of bed at nine o'clock, which I haven't done in a while. Yeah, last week was hectic. I'm trying to reel it back a little bit this week just because it does get too much in the end um and i don't want to like overdo it and like the novelty go of it already when it's been like a couple of weeks so yeah this morning i thought i'm gonna just have a lay in get up leisurely it's now 11 5 to 11 i've now had a shower i'm up i'm going to get ready i don't know how to do it so i've got to go to saffron for half one so I'll probably be back by three and then I've got to be in the pub by six. Is it six tonight? 
yeah so i don't know whether to just keep my face bare because it's hot still i mean this week it is cooling down as well that was another thing i think the heat last week being ill like, it was just a mixture of i was just just slept whenever i wasn't working if i had like a spare hour it would be nap time like and i never nap in the day normally and that is what it was so yeah i think i might keep my face bare come do saffron then come back because i normally do put a bit of makeup on for the pub so then i might film before then and then i'll edit it tomorrow evening i really don't want to put pressure on myself because i was gonna get up film edit all this morning and i just i can't at the moment i'm just not in that headspace it's just it, i don't want to overdo it so i'm just gonna take it leisurely but we're gonna vlog this week that'll be a nice this will be a video for you um and then i am gonna do a makeup one once i get back from saffron my poor skin it needs a break as well because that's another thing i'm working in a sunburn shop which is disgusting in this heat and i like to put a bit of makeup on because it's very bait working in the sunburn shop i must admit so I, I need to be a little bit presentable but then obviously because it's so hot i'm cleaning a lot of time i'm not like sweating with makeup on and so like my skin it just needs a breather I need to breather for god's sake but it does feel nice this morning to not be hungover. I did go out this weekend, but it was very civilised, which has been nice. Because the uh, that was another thing. I did go to a festival and then I was ill. So, like, I had a hangover on top of an illness. Like, last week, it was bad. It was bad. I'm not I'm not sugarcoating it. It was bad and I'm not being dramatic. Everyone's like, being dramatic when they see me and then I was like, oh, you are actually. I was like... I wasn't lying. I'm, I'm, I hate being ill. Like, why would I lie about being ill? But anyway, I'm rambling. This has been the longest intro ever. But hello, welcome. Again, I'm sorry that it has been rubbish. I am trying my best. I don't want to let this slide. But your girl needs a bit of extra money. And just, like, I would be bored without everything. So I just need to get into a routine of being able to do everything. Okay. But welcome to a realistic weekly vlog. I'm going to... Get ready, blow dry my hair, all that good stuff, and get ready to go to Saffron. She's got a press shoot today. I don't think it's, she's not filming today because it's a Monday. I don't normally do on Monday, but it's press shoot. I also want to get to the gym this week. That's also slid off. But to be fair, I was ill. Um, I, I've been swimming quite a bit because that's always like chilled. Do you know what I mean? You feel like you're still doing something. Well, you are. It's knackering. But, like, it's not getting sweaty in the gym, especially in this weather. Do you know what I mean? So, I do want to fit in some things like that. But I'm going to stop rambling because it's been the longest intro ever. But, like, subscribe. Please comment down below what you want to see from me. Because, yeah, it's just a lot easier rather than me trying to think of things at the moment. Like, if I know that's what you want. I know it could be makeup, fashion lifestyle food anything anything that you want me to do i'll do it I, i'm fully admitting that my content has slid off the radar but <laughs> good morning happy monday and let's get into the vlog my brows need doing this week as well god all right i'm ready i just slipped this on because i still think it's actually quite hot i didn't even blow dry my hair because i couldn't actually deal with it in the heat I haven't blow dried it in a while when it's been this hot because like literally the thought of it makes me feel sick. Um, so I've just been letting it naturally dry. I have actually just messaged my hairdresser to get it redone. Like my hair is so dark at the minute. I thought it would lighten in the summer, but I don't know. I think my hair is just brown now. Like I'm no longer a blonde and it doesn't really get any lighter with the sun. So... I have messaged her, but I'm not going to get it done until like September anyway, just because I just feel like I can last a little bit longer and then at least that will cover me for like the winter months. So that's what I've done this morning. But yeah, I'm now on my way to Saffron's, but so I'm leaving a little bit earlier because I haven't eaten yet. Last week as well, and I keep moaning about last week, but it was horrible because obviously when I'm in the summer shop in the pub, like... Um, I can't eat, like I can't, like obviously you can eat, it's not like I can't eat, but like, it's just weird times, the sunbed, when you're in there all day, you have to like get your food beforehand, so like in the morning I'm like, what the hell do I want to eat, you can order to it, but like, I don't know, like I'm just 
didn't really so last week i didn't really eat well so this week i feel like i want to eat good i'm gonna get lunch now and then i will be in the pub later so i need something like quite nice and filling to try and keep me going but i don't know what i might just go marx's and get like a nice wrap or something something healthy I need diet coke in my life got my kit we are gonna go now and uh then i'm gonna come back and film God, I think that's the thing. Once you get out of your routine of the filming, it is hard to get back in the swing of things. But yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge in a minute. <laughs> there are a lot of people here because I'm not literally in the busiest petrol station. But I got myself a hoisin duck wrap, some sensations and a Diet Coke. And this is the life of me always. I say this all the time, but I'm literally having to eat on the go as always i've not had this in so long i'm real and this is a regular occurrence oh i've just got all the duck wrap oh my god these glasses are so wonky um don't know what's happened to them must have broken them brilliant uh but yeah i've now got all the duck wrap down me so probably another outfit change when I get in. That is another thing of my days. I change about 10 million times. So that is great. Brilliant. Really pleased about that. Right, oh, I'm back from Saffron's. I actually have a client now as well. She messaged me literally as I was on my way to Saffron. So she's coming in half hour. And then after that, well, I've just gone up and down the stairs and I'm out of breath like that. It's not normal. And then after that, I'll be going straight to work. So, obviously, we had a bit of an accident in the car. So, I need to get changed. I was going to film, wasn't I? But it's just too hot. And I thought about it. And I'm just going to, tomorrow evening, film and edit. And I'll be in the zone. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm going to work. I don't want to put lots of makeup on. But at least tomorrow, I'll be finish work can do it and then just take it off afterwards but i do have to make myself a bit more presentable for work so i'm gonna do that now i need to change the thing is it's really annoying is i never used to have to wear so many different clothes to go to work in and like look this presentable all the time so now i'm like running out on things to wear this was okay. don't actually have to wear black for work but nine times out of ten i find myself wearing black and white just because I feel like it's the most like appropriate <laughs> I don't know why I don't have to I'm in the pub tonight so yeah I can literally wear what I want but it just always works better with black on I've just got this racer and some shorts <laughs> but yeah um I need to sort my hair out but my hair is now fully dry which is good and then I'm just gonna go over it with the straighteners a little bit just from the top of my hair you know we have the crazy curls i didn't even include a clip of saffron i might include a video of my next client because she is a regular of mine and she's normally okay with me taking pictures and stuff so i might get a little clip but i literally do her all the time it's uh she's like regular regular like three times a week <laughs> regular um but yeah i'm gonna show you once i'm ready because i'm gonna Go and film a TikTok now. I'm trying to multitask it and then I'll be going off to work. Which I'm not really in the mood for, but it's quite chilled. I can have a couple of bebs. I fancy a drink. It's a Monday and I fancy a drink. Which isn't isn't ideal, is it? But my hair's not so long again. Did I tell you I've done my hair? Yeah, she just got back to me. So we're booking the hair in and also, me and Taylor are booking the holiday. Hopefully, we can book it by tomorrow once Taylor knows about work. But it's looking like it's finally at the other end. It's been a long time processing, trying to get it sorted. Um, so, yeah, we're finally getting to it. But, yeah, I'm going to shut up now because I've actually... I've now got 25 minutes to sort my life out. down for me good morning guys the last clip i think i done was of my client and then i went off to work and didn't really keep you updated so i didn't get in until like 10 to 12 last night 
by the time I'd finished. And I couldn't sleep. The thing is, when I get home from the pub, I'm like a bit on a buzz still, if that makes sense. So it's, it takes it a little while to uh, get to sleep. And now it is currently, oi! Now it's currently seven in the morning and I've got to go to Saffron before I go off to work in the sun bitch shop. So it's very early and I'm very tired, but it is what it is. So basically, I want to go to the gym straight from the summer shop, just because it'll make life easier for me. Yeah, take my gym stuff so that after work I can go straight to the gym and then home rather than keep going backwards and forwards. wisdom teeth coming through it's not been it so yes i'm off to do saffron and i've also got to do her dad's now fiance makeup but i start working some of the shop at half nine really i have to be there a little bit before half nine because the shop actually opens half nine so i've got to make sure everything's set up obviously so that is why i'm, I'm going to saffron so early i'm gonna hold you down here because i've just dropped my shirt i'm now off I'm gonna get going, get on the road. I think I've got everything. It was early, so I managed to get myself a coffee. These literally save my life. Like, it's a massive one. And I will down it all and I'll wake up. But yeah. Oh, God. Who she knows? I'm at Saffron's basically because this shop is literally out of my road. And I've still got five minutes to spare. So that was handy. It's because it's so early. There was no uh, traffic on the road. So I got here in like 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, my, let's get some power in me. And I've, I wanted to get, because I went in the Tesco, I was like, oh, let me get some bits for work. But like, I never know what I fancy. They never have anything good for like breakfast. Like, they never have just like single squares for ours. They had packets, but it was the marshmallow ones. Like, if you eat the marshmallow ones, criminal. I wanted like a chocolate one, but they didn't have it. So I ended up getting just a bottle of water and a packet of crisps, because I was thinking if I order lunch, at least I don't have to then buy that a packet of crisps. I can just have that. So yeah. Anyways, let's go because now I'll end up being late. <laughs> I'm now in work, and this is my little setup. <laughs> yeah, it was early on time. I literally went to movie this morning. I was stressing because where well, I had to go to Saffron. I thought, what am I? But when I was like 20 minutes early, gave me plenty of time to set up shop, and yeah. Now I'm uh, just chilling here for most of the day when people come in. It gets quite busy this shop, so it should be a busy today. And the weather's a bit worse today, so people probably will want a sunbed. And then we have some cleaning, just the usual. Got my glasses on because uh, it hides my face. Um, but yeah, that is me until four o'clock. It's currently 20 to 10. So yeah, a long old shift. I'm gonna order some food because I'm starving. My belly just rumbled. So didn't really eat a lot yesterday either because of the pub. But I didn't even know what to bring in with me. So I'm gonna order something. And yeah, but not yet. I'll hold out a little bit. Thank you. Thanks, see you later. But yeah, I'm hungry. But now I've got to go and clean that bed because someone's just got off it. So yeah. Probably won't be able to keep you updated during the day, but if I get some food, I'll show you it. I've got two hours left. Oh my god, I've had my lunch. Well, I ordered a burrito and I've hardly eaten any of it. Hopefully, if I get cover right, hopefully, you can just hear me. Yeah, I'm gonna eat a little bit more in a bit and I've got a well hydrate. But I had one of these the other day and it was tropical and it was unreal. This one's not unreal, but I think it's because it's the protein pro. I don't know, it's different but I'm not, I'm not enjoying it. But it cost me two quid, so we're gonna sip and drink it. But yeah, I've done all the cleaning. I'm just chilling for the last couple of hours, really. Obviously, as more people come in. But yeah, it's gone quite quick, to be fair. 
and basically tonight I'm going to Top Golf. So I think I've had a, night, a, bit, a bit of a nightmare. Wait, let me try and turn this down a little bit. I'll just go ahead with it. Um, basically, I was going to go home, film, you know, do all the good stuff. But after work, I was going to go to the gym. And then everyone's like, let's go top the golf later. Top golf is next to the gym. So I've got three hours to kill. So I'm going to obviously have a sunbed, go to the gym, have a shower in the gym, and then just go to top golf once I'm like done there, rather than going home, come back, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not filmed again today, but I'm definitely going to film tomorrow. Definitely. But I'm filming right now, so technically I'm still, I'm still doing it. But yeah, last two hours, let's go. Go. Ready? Is that your laugh? That's not worship. For the vlog! For the vlog! Do it for the vlog! <laughs> Thanks, Es. Push him when he goes to here. 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 Push Hello! Hi Sam, what do you want to say to the vlog? I am shit top golf. Yeah, we agree. Taylor, what do you want to say to the vlog? Where's Taylor? Oh no, I'm winning. Thank you. There's chicken places. Be shit. I'm not decent. I'm decent. <laughs> Everyone's high and high. Tonight. Tonight. Sam, it's your turn. Tonight. Tonight. It's your turn. Hey, should we get a taste? Are you depressed because you're losing? Yes, because this game's bollocks. You're bullets. Go, Sid. No, I do half agree. It's winding me up. Nice, yuck. It's winding me up. <laughs> Shut up. Hey! Don't let go though, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get a look on it. <laughs> 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 oh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning again, guys. Happy Wednesday. Five past eight. I'm in the sunbed shop again today. This time I'm in the Woodford one. So, yeah, I'm gonna get ready for work. Yesterday went top golf. That was fun. We didn't get home too late. I got home about half ten and then watched a film. Watched a really good film, actually. Um, it's new. It's called Purple Heart. It's sad though, so uh, prepare yourself. It was really good, but I didn't go to bed till like 10 to 1. But today, so in the Woodford shop, it's 9.30 till 3. And then I'm actually going to just, like meet my sister and my dad. Because I actually, I see my dad all the time because I'm working in the pub. One second. But we haven't actually like been out in the longest time. And I was gonna see my sister today anyway, like tonight. So 
so we just sort of said why don't we all just go westfield i need to go into primark i need to get some underwear i've lost a bit of weight haven't i so like on my boobs and that it doesn't fit me anymore the filming sort of got out the window like obviously i'm filming this but i mean i was gonna try and get another video up but i am oh so basically i didn't tell you but it's how we sort of wrapped i was meant to be doing like the finale makeup and stuff one sec yeah i was meant to do the finale makeup and stuff but the finale it normally does get held at like a certain venue and the venue it's being held at this year is like an hour and 20 minutes away so obviously that is a bit too far for me i mean I'd, i didn't mind if i had to go saffron sort of said like that she would pay for my petrol at first but then they've actually got a makeup artist on site now um and like when like today so the finale is tomorrow and today their scenes are also just all there so it ended up being that i've wrapped already so yes there was the last time so gutting really that i'm not doing the finale but i'm glad i done for a bit because today it would have been a struggle to fit in anyway because obviously i've got work and then that does free up tomorrow morning now so i might get some filming done tomorrow morning yeah so although it's annoying because i like obviously wanted to do it it actually has worked out all right because it's given me some time back that i need um so yeah just some bed today and then seeing my dad and then tomorrow i've got pub in the evening so i've got the morning to do some things so i might obviously film in that then but i also remember my birthday vlog i put my car earring in to get fixed it did take like six weeks to get fixed but it's actually been ready now for a good three weeks and i keep forgetting about it i don't really fancy having it posted here do you know what i mean like i don't want to the risk of losing it i need to also try and get into london to pick it up because i'm gonna keep forgetting about it and like i don't want to leave it there too long just in case you know what i mean so i'd also like to do that tomorrow like before work because i see bethnal green is like closer to london anyway so i could get up do a bit of filming then like i'm not gonna get open anyway i don't know we'll see i need to speak to my lad today about it Right, I'm basically ready. I'm not going to be able to make one today. I'm trying to keep my skin a bit of a breather again. But yeah, it's quarter past eight. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to Woodford. And I need to park, go to the shop beforehand. So I don't want to leave it too late. Leave him. Probably need to leave here at like 22. Basically ready. So I will see you in a bit. We're just in my spelled. You look better than me. Oh, I look like a tomato. I'm trying to my face. You don't. Your makeup looks all right. We're just in um, Westfield. We've done a little Primark shop. And then Bill's just getting fitted because of uh, pregnant life. <laughs> She's growing. Um, and then we're going to go for dinner. I'm so then. Yeah, here's the update. Finished work. It's great. It was very quiet. Good morning. Ignore the state of this hair. My first day a bit wet, but I'm awake. It's Thursday. I must have needed a sleep. I didn't get up till 10 o'clock this morning. Like, I have never been a late riser. Like, I've always, always been an early riser. Like, I could have gone at 3 o'clock in the morning and I would get up at 9. Like, I must have just needed that sleep. I was in such deep sleep. I woke up, I was like, well, it's 10 o'clock. But I'm not going to stress over it. I was going to get things done, but I'm not stressing. It is what it is. But huh, we got to Malfi Coast in three weeks. In three weeks. Do you know what? I, I can't decide whether I like last minute or not. Sometimes I'm like, I don't like last minute because like, you just, I like to know what I'm doing. But then I think, I booked holiday and I've only got three weeks to wait. Like, <laughs> with the same on my bail, we literally done it and we had like three weeks to wait. So it's great. And basically, sorry, the reason it was such a rigmarole in the first place was because 
I'm like quite busy now, up until we go. I am becoming an aunt. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Well, officially once, but my sister's best friend is a week, like they're a week apart. And like, when I mean like best friend, I mean like best friend, grown up together, pretty much my third sister, like, and they both have a baby. So I am basically being an aunt twice. Which means I've got a lot of baby showers to go to. I've never had so many baby showers to go to. So, my sister's is next weekend. I might even vlog it. I might vlog. I might just keep doing weekly vlogs because obviously, like I said, it's hard for me to get everything in. But I feel like vlogging's the way of keeping you updated, you know. And obviously, I will do makeup videos as well. But if I do vlog all the time, you're up to date. So, I might vlog it, but yeah. Next thing is my sister's baby shower, and I've just ordered, I ordered some clothes. Basically, pretty little thing, have like 8% off, and I spent hardly anything on all this stuff. I mean, to be fair, I am sending a few of it back, just because I'm not like, I like it, but I'm not obsessed with it, but my baby shower outfit, <laughs> smashed it, absolutely smashed it. It's like a dressy baby shower, so, I said like, I'm basically representing to be the cool aunt, so I need to look good. And my outfit, and like, I just love shopping now, because I've dropped down a dress size, like, well, most things, but basically I ordered 12 in the outfit, the top's too big, so I've ordered an hour 10. The bottoms, I'm keeping as a 12, just because again, it is my bum, like, as you can see, my bottom half is always going to be bigger, but like, I've lost my boobies, this is just all implant now because before obviously if, you, if you're new here <laughs> i've had my boobs done before i had a lot of extra fat on them and they got like quite big now i've literally lost the weight it's just all implant um which is great because they look like a fresh new pair of boobs which i'm very pleased about so i've gone back down to a 10 on my top and like even some of these dresses are a 10 basically because it was 80 percent off they didn't have every single size so some of them have a 10, so I was like, right, do you know what, we're just going to risk it, going to get a 10, and it does fit. I mean, I think I could probably, I'm still probably like, if they're done an 11, that would be perfect, because like, some things I am going to have to order a 10 in, like, if it, I know that the material is a little bit, so like this one, I've ordered a 10, I'm pretty sure it is going to go up, but obviously it's like that satin material, so, and the wrinkles do look a bit tight on me. I mean, it looks fine, but I'm just like not obsessed. Because basically, obviously with this, I've done a bit of holiday shopping as well. But like my bikinis, down to a 10. I'm pretty sure I ordered a 10 because they didn't have anything else. And yeah, things are looking good. I've got a barbecue, what day are we on? It's tomorrow. I might wear this little set to the barbecue. Because it's only around s -Ads. You know who s -Ads is. My best mate. And like the weather's still a bit iffy, but it's muggy. So I feel like I might just wear this little set because it's like cute. But then I'm going to put blazer and sandals on with it just to like thingy. But like this, this is all size 10 and I'm feeling good. It's just great. It's just chef's gears prefer shopping these days. I still have a lot of holiday shopping to do. Out of this, I got one bikini and Cornwall, I didn't... You might have seen me in it in this vlog, but like we didn't get any pictures. We didn't really sunbathe for the second two days. So I've got two bikinis that I've like barely even worn. Um, because I had like jumpers over it anyway. This hair this needs brushing. Um, so like for holiday, I've now we're on, we're going for three nights, four full days. So I've got four day bikinis. I just need to get one more, and then I need to sort out like what I'm wearing with them. And I've got one dress definitely that's from this order. These not too sure about, so I just need to get two more outfits. So, and as well, so I like going for short time. Because like, I remember when I used to go away for a week, the outfits, it would be outfits galore, like it would just be crazy and then I'd way over spend because I'd be buying for like months on end and then I'd like be bored of that and then so I'd get something else and I'd just have so much stuff. At least now, when I do last minute, I only go for like short amount of times and because it's last minute, I'm buying and I know I'm not going to get bored of it. Like, I'm very conscious. I probably will get like an extra spare outfit just in case because the dress that I said I'm not showing you my outfit guys we're gonna have to wait can't believe I'm going to the Amalfi Coast I've never been to Italy I've never even stepped foot in the country so 
this is exciting and the amount of coast. Everyone's gone this year though, literally my whole Instagram is full of it, full of people going, like it's actually crazy. Um, but yeah, like it's absolutely beautiful. Like, I'm, I'm a bit like, can't believe I'm actually going, but how exciting, obviously we're vlogging. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm all a bit excited. But yeah, we've, we've still got a lot of outfits to deal with. But what is the time? It's now 11 o'clock. I'm meeting Catherine at one. But yeah, I've still got some bits of shopping to do. I was actually watching Lydia's A Mouth Coast vlog because I haven't even walked. They go like every single year. I'm going to re-watch like, all their vlogs. But I hadn't watched their like newest ones because they've literally just been. They go all the time. We're staying in. We're doing what they're doing. Because I know the A Mouth Coast is very different. Like you can actually stay like in like Positano and things like that. But we're doing what they what they do. We're staying in Sorrento. And then we'll get like a boat in to like the proper like a mouthy bit i um I'm, I'm literally so excited oh i went to primark yesterday as well because obviously decreased sizing i had to get so much new underwear i literally spent nearly 100 pound on underwear yesterday like <laughs> where have i gone i'll give you a little little haul picked up some brow pencils because i've run out but like i don't really like padding like i'm jamming like, i feel like I've had my boobs done, why do I want to make them bigger than they are, like, I am a bit like, I love my boobs, but like, I hate drawing attention to them or making them bigger than they need to be, that's why I'm actually quite glad they've gone smaller, but like, look how cute these bras are, like £6 for the matching set, I had, I've got one on right now, don't know where the bra is though, wait, just like a plain black one, like I love no padding, bit of an underwire, um, obviously we got the classics, these things, I think I may have picked up the wrong size though, but then they might be alright now that I've shrunk a little bit because I've got a small, do you know what I really always forget in Primark that a small is a 10 to 12 and then a medium is 12 to 14, picked up two smalls, we shall see, do you know what though in Primark they've stopped doing the knickers, the thongs, you know, if you know you know, I see a TikTok telling me that the like all my friends have these knickers let me show you them right like i literally have every style in this knicker so if you know you know because primark these are the best ones they've stopped doing them they've stopped doing them i see a tiktok and i thought surely not when in the next day there was i think i managed to pick up one set of oh yeah black and white Black and white, that was it. None. Nothing. So, not really happy about that. So, don't really know what I'm going to do with the Nick situation. But look, purple. How cute. Primark is always pulling it out of the bag at the minute. Um, my sister got loads of home stuff. The home stuff's really good. I picked up these just for like a bit more of a comfy one. They're like the hipster ones. I, I am a, I'm a fun kind of girl. Uh, but... Yeah, don't know what I'm going to do because they don't do them. I also picked up this little set. How cute is this? It's like more of a loungy, comfy one. It's like a bit like a toweling material, but in the white. And then I picked up some actual normal bras, like t-shirt bras. But again, no padding. Just three different colours. And then the matching bongs. Oh, I picked up some jewellery as well. Wait, I'll show you in a minute. I'm thinking of Italy. Yeah, so... £14. For three pairs though, that is good. But actually, this set was £6. Yeah, so I've got them. And then I've picked up some jewellery. Because basically, when I went to Marbella, but my like little beaded love thing I got from Primark, and I literally loved it. So I picked up another little one. Look how cute that is. And then these little earrings. I mean, I said them to my sister. My sister was like, hmm, don't think they're really her. But I've got the vision for them. I probably went with the blue, but like the pink and the green, I feel like could be a vibe. I love how children jewellery is like come back into style, but like it matches with the earrings. So I picked up that. I must admit, summer is basically gone when you go shopping. Christmas outfits are out. We was walking past shops that had green sparkles everywhere. And same in Primark, they had like winter boots at the ready but yeah summer is going i've always gone away in september though and i've always known that that you sort of are shopping in the sales and it's not the most uh, best things that is my little primark call for you just on those underwear and yeah 
I've done a PLT haul, but you're not seeing it because you'll see it in upcoming vlogs. And yeah, we're going to the Amalfi Coast, baby. And I'm going to be vlogging it. And I'm so excited. Literally so excited. But yeah, I've got a few exciting new, like, couple a couple weeks coming up. Oh, 11, 11, make a wish. Done. Yeah, we've got some exciting vlogs coming up. So although I've been a bit rubbish, I'm, I'm bringing it back. We're going to go have some travel vlogs. And I, I think we are going to try and get away again one more time. I, yeah, I feel like if I get away... At the end of September, I'll be a happy girl. I feel like I have had such a good like summer. I've been doing festivals, going out, just living my best life. Which that is another thing we will do an updated boy at all because I feel like I'm now oh, how many? I'm nearly five months. In. Do you know what? It's actually the maddest fit. Wait, wait. Yeah, five months. It feels so much longer like the girls are like i can't believe that you're only at five like, i'm not even at six months yet i'm not even at the six months hurdle but like it's just gone so quick like it feels like it, my my life feels crazy like it feels like it's not not too dramatic but like i'm a different like, i just got a different life like it's actually mad so i will do an updated boy talk because like i said i'm now five months in so I don't know, I might have a bit more knowledge. But yeah, we're gonna do that as well. Uh, there's, I've got things I've got, I've got things I'm gonna be doing. I've just I've got to get around to doing them. But yeah, I have not seen Catherine. We've been rubbish, but it's because we've both been busy. It's just been one of them, one of them things now that I've got, just, I'm busier. And um, yeah, so I said we'd go for lunch. I'm starving. That's that for this morning. I need to sort my hair out because Hopefully once I brush it and strain it, it comes back to life again. But that is the update. Um, and yeah, just subscribe so that you come and see Malfi with us. <laughs> Rare sighting of Catherine. <laughs> We're finally back together. It's been a while. Had our iced coffees. We've got our bagels. We're just catching up. Rare sighting. So I've got to document it. My child's been done. Uh, I'm going to film. I've just shown him. I've got back from lunch, with Catherine. It's currently twenty to three. Okay, time is getting on. I've got to leave here for like quarter past four to go to work. But obviously, I'm just gonna do a makeup that I'm gonna wear to work. But we're gonna film it. So yeah, I'm very exciting. But we're gonna do it. I went for lunch, with Catherine, and we were talking about thirty-one days of Halloween. Like, and you might think thirty-one days of Halloween in Sydney is still August. Get a grip. No. 31 days of Halloween, I done it last year. It put me in the hospital, like no joke, like I'm not even exaggerating. I mean, there was a lot of go going on for me last October. And I think I was getting this like really bad belly situation going on. And I done all the tests, there was nothing. So now I've never had it since October. And not, not in a, ugh, like, Basically, October, me and Harry wasn't good, my ex, and I was stressed doing fat one day's following. Could you not? I've never had it again. Never had it again, and I've not with my ex, and I'm, I'm happier. I'm, I just think it was down to stress, but it's coming around again, and I really, really want to do it, but I'm genuinely scared for my life. My sister's baby's during October. There's a lot going on and I'm just like oh, am I gonna be able to do it but <coughs> I really want to do it but obviously I'm gonna start very early I'm gonna start beginning of September so I've got like basically two months to do the month if that makes sense so at least I've got like half of them done before October even starts so that if I miss a day or can't do that you know what I mean I I've got some lined up so we sat there, we was like planning some that I'm going to do. And I feel like I got my mojo back. So I'm like, right, okay, I'm going to come home now. I'm going to film. Like, I just need to get the makeup buzz back. Like, I love doing makeup still. When I've got my clients on the weekend, I love it. But, yeah, I just need to get my content going again with the makeup. So I'm going to sit, do a video, and then I will be going to work. Wow, we're zoomed in. We filmed, we done it. And it's now, I've got like half hour. So I'm gonna do my makeup brushes. We're gonna clean some of these, ready for tomorrow. I'm not gonna bore you with it though, because I feel like I'll show you how I clean my brushes all the time. But yeah, we're gonna clean some makeup brushes, ready for tomorrow. And oh my God, like, this is just gonna be so productive. Hi guys. <laughs> 
it is currently quarter to 12 and this is my Thursday ritual after work so I've been working in the pub today I end up at McDonald's I literally only had that by a goal and my whole shift I was literally thinking what can I eat and I just always end up coming back to McDonald's at the end of my shift because like it's on my way home but tonight the queue is mental I've been here for a good 20 minutes already and yeah it's very slow but it'll be worth it I haven't got to be up too early tomorrow so I normally get in quite late from the pub if I drive home I can stay at my dad's but I, I just prefer going home like then I'm, I can wake up in the morning and like I'm just I'm where I'm meant to be because obviously tomorrow it's a Friday and I've got I've got a client in the morning now and then I've also got like a wedding but five chicken selects is calling my name the pub was quite quiet tonight which is like weird for a Thursday normally my Thursday shift is the one that's like busy and goes quick but it was quite quiet but it was still it was fine just yeah I'm just a working girl these days like I literally oh, I, I don't I don't mind it but I'm just yeah not ideal like especially on a Thursday night like I normally love a Thursday like down the pub like with my mates like obviously I'm still in a pub on a Thursday but it's not the same when you're working but yeah it is what it is I don't have to work every Thursday but I do normally end up doing the Thursday shift I'm also in there on Saturday this week but I was saying to Catherine earlier like it, I, I actually don't like I didn't want to do weekends at first because like obviously weekends is my makeup and like it'll all be a bit too much but actually doing the weekend is better because it's busier oh my god I've got hiccups busier and like it goes quicker this is my night really just getting my McDonald's and I can't wait to get in bed yeah that is it work completed one more shift for the weekend and obviously I've got makeup but one more actual shift. I can't wait for my Sunday. Like Sunday, I've got off. Like, just gonna have nothing to do, which is great. Apart from like edit, which the makeup. I told you guys, it does not budge. Like, look, my makeup is still on. It's been on now for about seven hours. I've, and like, I could go another seven. I feel like it literally does not budge. Look at my skin. Obviously, this lighting's not the best, but it's the best and everyone today was like your makeup looks so nice blah, blah, blah. oh my god i'm gonna order now okay does it move um honestly hi can i have a five chicken selects meal please with a diet coke five selects with a coke yeah yeah can i have sweet chili sauce with that please yeah that's it thank you thank you thanks yeah like this makeup doesn't budge it still looks so fresh it could still go like several hours in the heat everything so i'm not lying like i'm not even that shiny like what the hell hi guys welcome back happy friday it is literally like half four and this is the first time i picked up the camera today but i've been working and do you know what i didn't bring you along with me i had a wedding it's not the right time do you know what i mean but I'm now ready, as you can see. So, just got this co-old from Pretty Love Thing. It's like a little ribbed, striped co-old, just with some like black Birkenstock style sandals and a blazer. I couldn't bother to wash my hair, so we've we've gelled it back. I mean, I'm actually not mad at it. I've done like the little spikiness, try to be edgy bit edgy i'm sweating though in this blazer i'm not gonna lie to you so it's more than likely just gonna be off for the most of it but yeah it's half four i'm now gonna go around my friends to have some pre's uh let me show you right wait have i got everything so today i went to the shop because basically it's barbecue and it's all like basically we're all just bringing our own sort of stuff and then we can like put it all on the barbecue so i made like a mozzarella tomato avocado pesto salad this is what's in here i'll show you one what what was i saying now i can't really remember so i went to the shops earlier i made that and i'll show you once i actually are there get it out there i then got my dad so basically when we was in lockdown my dad for some reason was getting our meat for us from like his local butchers and he got us these like kebab like skewer things and honestly they're like unreal so i was like dad can you get me some because like, i'm not gonna eat that much like i'm not really a big 
barbecue kind of girl. So I thought if I get them, that'll be nice. And obviously others can have it. I then had to get some olives because like olives at the moment are my weakness. Like I'm literally eat them all the time. And then I just got some stuffed peppers and I got some dip. But in, we went Aldi and it was not good. They literally didn't have like any crisps. So other people have got the crisps. So, but I've got dip. And then <laughs> got the vodka priorities. And yeah, I'm now gonna get going and go to Haley's because it's a lovely day out and I'm bored and I wanted to get out because it's not starting till like six. But like, I'm not waiting until six, you know? But yeah, I'm actually feeling my hair and makeup today. Like I feel a bit like a bad bitch. But do you know like when you feel like people are gonna be like, since you look all different? I don't know, I don't know. I do have my hair like this sometimes, but more so like just like chilling, not to actually go out. But I just couldn't bother to wash it and in this heat, it's like hair dry, my hair, my hair dryer's broke, it cuts out all the time, so it's just a whole rigmarole. So I'm just gonna get it back. And I've actually done a brown lip today. I've not done a brown lip in so long. I've been doing pink for the longest time, but I thought, I'm gonna change it up today. Gone for a brown lip. Don't know how I feel about it, but we move. This is what we're looking like. I'm bringing you along with me tonight. We will see how we get on with the footage, etc. Tell us about your night. My night? This is the barbecue that SAP has put on for us. I've invited all my besties, man. Yep. I hope I'm doing a good job so far. You're doing all right. I mean, you've needed a little help I along have. the way. You need a lot of help. You need a lot of help. But we've got our food and we're enjoying it. We are. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Do you want to say hi to my vlog? Hello. <laughs> Are you missing Cornwall? Uh, missing Cornwall? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Why do I do stuff like this? Why do I do stuff like this? I don't know. Lewis, you want to be in my vlog? Yo! Yo! Yo. <laughs> She's lighting up the barbie. She's getting a barbecue going. Hi guys, this is Tom. Lovely to meet you, honestly. I've been... All, You're all, dying all, 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 all I can say is, right, I've been, I've been watching these vlogs for a long time now. And honestly, just to actually get on there, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I, it's lovely to meet you all, so I can just say credit to the girl. She's doing a great job. And listen, guys, keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep supporting the fucking team. Do you know what I mean? Thank you. We love it. Love you. Mwah. Best day right there.